So I'm going to walk you through making your first print. Um, I haven't actually printed anything on this printer yet, so you'll be able to see some of the challenges that I run into um, the first time. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through my uh, slicer settings and just walk you through what I have here. So I'm just doing like a sample print, really small, um, I think it's like 17 layers or so. Um, I'm also making two prints side by side so I can see how it handles um, any oozing that's happening between them. Um, for the layer height, I set it to uh, 0.3 for the first layer, which is about as, as high as you can get it. You can't exceed the um, diameter of your nozzle on this one, it's a 0.3 millimeter. For the rest of the layer heights, I have it at 0.25. You don't want to make it, um, you want to keep it at about 80% of your nozzle. Uh, so let's see, what else have I changed here? I think that's it for that tab. For the infill, I've changed the fill pattern to the rectilinear um, and leaving the default fill density of 0.4. For the speed, I went through and slowed some of these down. Um, for yours, I'd recommend going really slow the first time, like maybe setting them all to 15. Um, for this printer, because uh, I know this hot end is uh, pretty good, um, I'm going to leave most of them at 30. So I've got 30, 30, 70%, 50, 50, 40, 50, 50, 20. Um, the travel speed I bumped down to 60 um, and the first layer I'm leaving at 30%. Um, in the advanced, uh, you might consider making these all 0.5 just to keep everything consistent. Um, I'm going to leave it on auto for now. Filament settings, uh, we're using 1.75 millimeter. I've changed the temperature to 185 for both the first layer and other layers. Uh, for cooling on this hardware, uh, always uh, uncheck both of these boxes and we'll just control the fans ourselves. So otherwise if you leave this on, it's going to try to turn this fan on and off based on if it's like bridging or uh, doing things like that. And that's, We don't have this pointing at the plastic part so it doesn't really apply. Uh, for the printer settings, you can set your bed diameters here. The Z offset is something that we can use to kind of tweak where the, the layer is going to start. Uh, but in the custom G code is, is where I've changed it here. So I'm turning the fan on to start with. Uh, so it's M106 for the fan and then S100 for the speed. You could go up to 255. Um, I basically just wanted to feel some air coming out, so I do. Um, in the NG code, I added an M400, which uh, flushes the buffer, so it waits for any commands to finish before executing future stuff. I've noticed with some of the Marlin builds, uh, if I told it to home, but it still was uh, printing stuff, it would like abort the printing and just go home right away, and you'd end up with an incomplete part. So I add the M400, turn off the temperatures, uh, home the Z-axis, and uh, disable the motors. Uh, extruder, the nozzle diameter on this particular one is 0.3 millimeters. Uh, didn't really change anything else here. So I think that's it. So I'll export the G-code. I'm putting it in my downloads folder. That's done. So then in Print Runner, um, let's get the temperature going right away. So I'm bringing it up to 185. I'll load the file from my downloads folder. Should be this one. Yep, that looks right. So now we just have to wait for it to get hot, which takes less than a minute. I will home the X and the Y. I believe my Z is already proper. Saw it jump a little bit. Not quite sure why. I don't see it catching on anything, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. We 
are almost up to temperature. We're at 160. And what I'll do is just manually turn it a bit to get some plastic started, kind of prime it a little. 175, 180, 82, okay, we're there. All right, we got plastic coming out. Now I will print. So it's gonna wait 10 seconds for the heat to stabilize. And then it should start going down. Actually, I do not think I have the Z-axis set right because we reflashed the firmware. So this is a good example of things that happen. So it's gonna print in the air. I'll just reset it. I'll disconnect and reconnect, okay. And now I'll just, uh, well, I'll get the temperature back up right away. And I'll turn the fan back on. And I will home the Z. I'll home the other two. bring the Z back down to a reasonable height doing G0 space Z and then I'll go up like 10 millimeters Z10 okay so I'll get some plastic going okay it's coming out and now I will hit restart start up here. So it gets to the right temperature and then it waits 10 seconds and then it starts. So now typically the plastic will either be too thin or too th or it won't stick at all basically. So you just have to kind of look underneath there and see how it's going. If it's not sticking it'll be pretty obvious. In this case I think it's it's, it's probably okay. It could be raised a little bit higher. Um, so if you wanted to make it higher, you can go into Slicer and change the Z offset on the printer settings tab. But it looks like it's going just great. So that's basically it. This is our first print. And this is how the first print turned out. So it looks pretty good. Don't really see any issues in the print. Um, if these are hard to take off, what you can do is raise the first uh, layer height using that Z offset. Um, so it's kind of like you want to have it high enough so that it um, peels off easily, but uh, down enough so that it sticks. So you just have to find that sweet spot.